Right, well, good afternoon. Uh, you join me today um, in the wilds of Northumberland. And if you're expecting a bike, bike video today, cold, wet, grey, miserable, no, I'm in the car. Uh, I was wondering what to do on my next sort of adventure. And uh, this one, this is going to be, well, let's just say, bit of a test of nerve if you remember last year when I did a and I'll put a link up to it uh, motorcycle wild camp in the spooky forest so I'm heading to the same place called Harwood Forest I'm in I say Northumberland and spent the night there and well let's just say it's it scared the bejeebas out of me so I'm going to face my fears once again, you think, wow, is he crazy? I'm not going to spend the full night in there, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've actually checked into a camping pod. So nice warm electric and electricity, just a basic, it's kind of like a wooden tent. So again, I'm in the area in Northumberland, the Dark Skies Park, so near Kielder Forest, lovely around here, but today, it's cold, it's damp, it's wet, it's, it's not pleasant. So tonight we plan, so I'm going to get checked out there. So what time are we on now? It's quarter past two. I'm going to get there in a bit, get set up inside, come back out again, drive 18 miles to Harwood Forest, park up. Another reason I've got a new car, I'm in a new car. I've bought myself a new car. I didn't really want to leave it by the side of the road all night so I'm not going to be a million miles away from the car and if I'm sat there tonight and the shit hits the fan then I'll be straight back in it so we're going to do a bit of cooking as well cook up some food uh, so we're going to have a bit of adventure again so all I'm taking is a chair something nice and warm to wear and waterproof I'll put a poncho on I might take my tarp as well just to maybe cover but I want a 360 degree view. So I don't think anyone sat there all night before. I'm, I'm gonna give it a good few hours. Got a little fire log, say cook up some food and let's see what comes to me. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit different this one. So it's kind of like wild camping, but if I'm gonna entitle this video, it, it's, we all get scared when we're on our own when we do about a wild camping, some people say they don't, but you do. And my hat goes off to a couple of guys I watch, uh, especially one in particular just recently called the 12th Sagittarian, a guy called Mick. He spent all night in the deeps of it. So, and also a guy called Fell Wanderer, he kind of kicked all this stuff off. So, there's a bit of air and mystery about Harwood Forest. They say there's been sightings of a wild man or Bigfoot so I'm not going to debunk things and at that point where you hear that word Bigfoot if you want to switch off and not bother watching I can understand that's entirely up to you but it's kind of one of them interesting subjects where you think do things like this really exist and do they exist in this country I don't know personally I think there's going to be deer coming out and sort of because deer are a bit no, nosy and inquisitive so if I'm still and quiet a little bit of a fire going they might come out to me I, I don't know we shall see so right so I'm going to get to the pod in this campsite never been before check it out and uh, and then we'll get back and get all this gear sorted out so see you in the pod right so I'm in my pod uh, you see behind me, it's not that big, and all it is, we've got electric. So there's electric and a heater, keep it on nice and snug for tonight. Why not just drop it to about 18 I think. I can always warm it up tonight. It's 18 degrees. I should do the job. 
So that is it. So I'll show you where we are. Put some blinds on. This little table out the front. That's my new car by the way. There's nobody about. These are all statics that people are in. Yeah, nice and quiet and peaceful. Right, so I'm going to get my gear all packed up and then get organised and uh, show you what I'm taking. I'm just taking a few bits with me. So that's my chair to sit on. That's to keep me warm. Uh, first aid kit. A bit of a light. That's me fire lighting stuff. Got my poncho. Waterproof pants. Gloves. Got my knife. Head torch and spare. Spare torch. Bits of camera stuff. Take my cap. Warm socks I'm going to put on now. Some pans for cooking. I'm not bothering doing a, getting a proper fire going, but what I have got, if it gets cold, is one of these own fire log things. Take my stove if I need it. Some water, get another one as well. So I'm going to my little bag. Tarp if I need it. Some bits of food in there. I'll show you what I have in a bit. And the most important thing is my rab coat. So I'm going to put that on. When that couples up with that um, poncho, it's like wearing a sleeping bag. So, uh, this is going to be my surveillance gear for tonight. And I've got it rock and roll. That's my bed stuff for tonight. I'm going to get back later on. Okay. Right, so park the car behind. And, uh, which is already bringing back memories of um, being scared shitless. So I'm just going to find a good spot. So this is where I uh, braved the night last time. Yeah. I never thought I'd come back here, I must admit. I really didn't. Well, not a million miles away. And the car over there. Yeah. Not so bad at the minute, it's when it gets really dark. Yeah, it's just, just spitting a bit. So I've not got long just to, well I'm only setting up like my chair and stuff. Rain's coming in now. It's getting really boggy. Well here we go. You know what? I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna come back in in the daytime I'm gonna come back tomorrow yeah this camera it's not waterproof the rain it just stop oh it's, it's starting to absolutely belt it down I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow even now I'm not mad enough to What's that? I'm gonna have to get back to the car and abandon 
It is shit. I've had to have to abandon. It's absolutely belting it down. Bloody awful. So that's hope the weather is a bit more kinder tomorrow than we come in the day. Come early tomorrow. Well, I must admit, this is kind of not what I had in mind. <laughs> so on the campsite little kitchen. Pulling up a Bogrel cube, Oxo cube. And have a nice fried pork chop. Some beans and some rice. A little bit of spicy stuff somewhere. And uh, try and find a decent book. Not quite what, not quite what I had in mind. I tell you what, it's really quiet on this campsite. It's pitch black out here. Pitch, pitch black. There's a caravan just in front, but there's nobody in it. Just nothing. Oop. Got a boil on. Spicy pork, rice and beans. Jobs are good. Oh. We've got a tinny, which is good. So not exactly as a plan, but hey ho. Cheers anyway. Let's see what tomorrow brings. So I'm off back there this morning, um, I tried to sit out there last night but it, it's the, the rain was just, it got torrential so it didn't work. So going back in, have a little bit of an observation today and then back home so not a massive video this one, just uh, off in a little mini adventure really. Um, but yeah I had a great night of sleep in this pod, but, uh, it's a bit messy. You can see, <laughs> and uh, breakfast got delivered to me before on two legs or four legs. Got some visitors this morning. Breakfast, this is a great campsite. Breakfast comes to you. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Hey. Go on, pop it, go on, go on. You little chicken, aren't you? Oh, it's cold today, but I hope the weather's going to keep off. So I've got my big coat on, it is cold. Right, so I've just stopped off. Um, right at the end of, of Harwood Forest. So where I was last night is right the way down, down there. So I'm not going to go in this direction, I'm going to stick to my, I might go in that direction, not sure. But um could leave the car here and walk that way. But what I'd like to show you is this 
I'm just zooming. It's called Winter's Gibbet. Let's walk up and have a look. So yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere on this desolate moorland. It's called Winter's. I don't know if it's Gibbet or Gibbet. I'm so sure someone will uh, tell me. 1791, the body of William Winter was hung here in chains inside the place where he had murdered old Margaret Crozier in the village of Elsdon. So basically What this William Winter had done, say, murdered this old woman in the village down the road with two female accomplices. So they hung him here, and I mean, it's got a, a gibbet, a gibbet, it's a hangman's pole. So he's literally in the middle of nowhere, right on top of the moors. Um, this isn't the original pole from 1792, otherwise the wood just would have rotted, but just left him and his body to rot middle of nowhere just as a sign to sort of tell people to behave basically so someone's put like a skeleton on it and uh, kept it up there but yeah airy place Three sixty. There's nobody about. Only me. Let's get into the forest and do a bit of exploring. forest spreads or you can see right out so all the way down there and all the way down and round and all the way up I'll zoom up over there you can see it spreading right the way out I think it covers over 11 square miles it's massive right so just parked up I see the car just behind me, so I'm walking to the spot. On the subject of uh, hanging, we have found um, sheep car carcasses hanging up in the trees. A weird, well weird, <clears throat> sort of branches that have broken shapes and footprints and all manner of things so let's go and see if we can uh, find the wild man of Harwood Forest or the wild woman you never know right so I'm gonna head in checking where I am on the phone. <clears throat> Don't want to get lost in here, do I really? But, uh, I'll show you how big this, this place is. Don't know where you can see that. A little blue dot <coughs> is me. That's how big hardwood is. So I'm right on the edge of it.
that'll be real easy to get lost in here, you know. You know the trees look the same. I'm just picking me way. You get that feeling you're being watched. Definitely get that feeling. Right, so I'm gonna press on. It's a bit hard to to film myself and walk and uh, avoid twigs. <laughs> so you what, the further you get in, the darker it becomes. Then uh, nice green bits where the light kind of comes through and. takes over. This is where the light shines through. The sign of human life there uh, is never far away. Like a primeval forest, isn't it? Very spooky. I want to get somewhere just to sit quietly. We're walking in for about an hour, the noises are streaming in front of me. the remains of a camp. <clears throat> and a couple of camps by the look of it. And you could put a tarp up on that. In a while though, a long, long while. A long, long while. Well, it's a good spot as I need to uh, just sit and have a, a little break. Spot this, you know. Just get me framed. Fair play to the people that while camp here on their own, I couldn't do it. So, uh, if anyone fancies coming with me, give us a shout. <clears throat> I've just marked the spot. Might not be this year because obviously weather, but uh, yeah. Spooky. Definitely spooky. I've had to switch to my mobile. I'm just about to say, fair play to the guys. Uh, Fell Wanderer and 12th Sagittarian for camping out here on their own. I mean, this is a nice little spot actually, but when it'll get dark and gloomy and mysterious. Yeah. I say I don't think I could do it on my own, but uh, maybe, maybe one day. Yeah, so I've been using my new camera, G7X. 
and I think the memory card because I've, I've used when we went to New York. It's a great camera with a little wind muff on it. Yeah, trying to record. Yeah, memory card's full. Right, so I'm gonna behind me there's like a kind of a pathway and you've seen it on me on my little GPS map. I'm gonna follow that and then bear left. And I'm gonna go up that way. What do you think? What do you reckon then? I think a wild man operates and lives in this forest. I'm not so sure. But if you were to ask me that at midnight tonight on my own, I'd probably say yeah. I don't know. What would you eat? Moss, twigs, leaves, mushrooms. Well, dead sheep hanging them up trees for one. That's what's been found. Is there a wildcat, panther, or something like that, or lynx? Yeah, possibly. There's deer, I've seen birds, pine martins. What else will we have? Loads of animal. Right, I'm going to head back to the car, so I'll head up this pathway, and I think we'll do a left. If I see anything else, I'll uh, get back to you. Just coming down this pathway, and uh, I see this. What is it? <laughs> That's not someone's boot. Yeah, they're quite big. It's broad. It could be a deer. It's like slipped and it looks bigger. I don't know. Weird, isn't it? Could be Bigfoot's foot. <laughs> we like to think you find the rest of the print. It's amazing how they always find just one footprint. I don't know. Why don't they find like a track? Yeah, I'm not trying to debunk everybody, but just you find one footprint and that's it. Don't know. Well, something I've never done before. We are actually two weeks down the line. Uh, the footage that I did, I know my camera died on me, the battery, and I did run out of memory card as well. So the footage that I did, I did it on my iPhone and could not get that to upload whatsoever so I'm obviously out of Harwood Forest now and uh, I'm in uh, in the Peak District just on a bit of a ramble a bit of a nice relaxing day out and this forest I'm in is really really nice it's it's pleasant to be in that one a little bit oppressive and on your own I don't know so the jury's out about the wild man and the big foot and the werewolves and all the rest of it. I'm not so sure, but there's a lot of people who believe all this and have seen stuff, so who knows? Um, I think there might actually be some wildcats out there as well. I think in the 70s, people kept them as pets and then, you know, could have bred. Could be some, I mean, cats are very elusive, aren't they? But uh, anyway, jury's out. So if you want to come out with me and do like a, a wild camper trip, not on a motorbike, so the people that don't ride bikes, then uh, give us a shout. So thanks very much for watching once again. Um, while I'm here, I think I might do something like a...
getting a little fire going here with, with wet wood because it's it's been wet and miserable just of late, hasn't it? So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon for any future notifications. So I think the next one will be how to get a fire going in, uh, in a wet wood or forest. See you later.